Hello everybody, Hector Deville here. We are looking into the Kiwi, the New Zealand dollar against the American dollar, this time around on the daily time frame. Okay, mid term outlook here. Um, daily time frame on the New Zealand dollar against the American dollar, not because I've taken any particular trade yet, but because I am indeed looking to take a trade uh, over the following days. Okay, I am liking how. Well, I'm liking what I am seeing from a technical point of view. Um, and, well, let me try to explain the reasons as of why I am recording this video. So, um, let me scroll back a little bit just to show you guys how the Kiwi went through a... Uh, well, a very nice uptrend, in fact. Uh, I, in fact, I took a trade at some point somewhere in there. But anyway... Um, that's long gone in the past. We went through a little bit of a uh, of a congestion, a little bit of hesitation at the very end of the trend, just as it usually happens. Okay. In fact, if I draw a trend line there, whoops, uh, that's not a very nice trend line, is it? Somewhere around there. Anyway, um, whoopa. Let me just. Uh, that is okay. Uh, let me actually use a proper trend line for that. You know, drawing with your mouse is is kind of difficult. Anyway, more or less, that's the uh, former uptrend. Um, finally, a little a little bit of hesitation around breakout levels. Uh, we did see, as usual, a collapse. Okay, you guys uh, have seen me trading the breakout pullback continuation pattern at the very end of uh, trends okay this is nothing but a trend collapse prototypical trade anyway after that collapse swing died out of momentum we've seen a very very long period of ranging price action okay i'm gonna draw the uh, range boundaries as more or less the uh, lower range and now we are going to draw the upper range Whoopa. More or less. Okay, this is a very sloppy uh, range. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, waste too much time here. But at any rate, I just want to uh, let you know, guys, that we've been, well, rather, price has been flapping up and down rather widely for almost two months within this range. However, however, take a look at what happened yesterday. You see that? Momentum breakout, huge breakout, huge a breakout candle to the downside, a very long candle uh, with full body, hardly any weeks either to the upside or to the downside, you know? Just the type of breakout candles that I like to see because this signifies that the breakout is happening in momentum and when a breakout takes place in momentum, in high trading volume, that means, or or it actually carries a higher degree of success, okay? Whenever you see this type of breakouts, um, well, you know, uh, chances are that this is a valid breakout instead of a fake breakout, okay? Anyway, so um, I am liking what I am seeing uh, from a technical point of view because I have a very clearly defined channel with a very clearly defined breakout. And now what I'm liking to or what I'm hoping to see is a pullback, all right? Uh, driving price back to breakout levels, basically to retest that, uh, well, you know, the range boundary, the range lower boundary, which in fact is some sort of an area, all right, some sort of an area there. At any rate, I would like to see price retracing back to this area. And from there, um, obviously, I would like to uh, I would like to see price finding resistance of that level, you know, former support. Now, hope hopefully working as resistance and I would like to see price beginning to turn to bounce back down off that level okay uh, if that happens okay if uh, price uh, retraces up to that level banks of uh, you know it hits that level and from there we begin seeing a another the beginning of a new swing to the downside, chances are that this whole thing is going to eventually turn into a massive breakout pullback continuation pattern. You guys have seen me trading this thing over and over and over again. Okay, so um, course of action. I have placed a sound alarm around there. 
all right um, you know send an alarm to get notified as soon as the uh, pullback uh, takes price all the way up there and make no mistake after a momentum breakout such as this one more often than not price does go through a little bit of a pullback how is that well, because the market can't sustain this huge momentum forever, right? All the people who drove price down on this uh, part of the chart were people who were basically selling heavily the New Zealand dollar against the American dollar. That's why price accelerated to the downside, because it, there was a high selling pressure. Well, all those people who sold um, this currency pair all the way down eventually are looking to cash out their profits, okay, to reverse their positions, to take their, their money, their profits out of the market. And as a result, price, uh, you know, pulls back and retra retraces um, a little bit at least, okay? So, anyway... Um, I have set an alarm there. What I'm going to do is wait for the breakout, then the pullback, and as soon as price begins to retrace back down, I am going to be zooming into the uh, shorter time frames, uh, more specifically into the daily time frame, okay? Which, as you guys know, is my favorite setup chart for, for intraday trading, okay? And I am going to be searching for short opportunities in this section of, or around that area in my chart, okay? Um, uh, like I say, if the pullback and the continuation part of this whole pattern takes place, I would not be surprised to see over the following days, or even weeks, uh, a, a nice downswing, okay, a nice swing, continuation swing to the downside, and therefore, hey, why not take in some intraday profits along the way, right? So, again, course of action, breakout, which just taken place, wait for the pullback, wait for price to turn around, and from there, that's where I will zoom into the one hour time frame, searching for short opportunities. If my system Whatever system I may be trading, probably the uh, market flow uh, system, which uh, it's explained elsewhere in the website. <laughs> um, if my uh, intraday trading system signals a long entry, a buy entry, a buy opportunity, I am not going to take it. Okay, I'm not going to take any uh, buy opportunity. I'm also going to be taking short opportunities precisely because of the long term outlook. It would be rather silly to go against the uh, long term analysis, uh, the long term price action analysis. Right. You always want to be trading in the direction of price, right, in the direction of um, long term price uh, outlook. Okay. Anyway, um, that's about it for this video. I'm not going to I'm not going to continue updating this trade because, uh, well, this is hopefully to become an intraday trade, and that's that trade still won't trigger for many days to come. Again, uh, it will take a few days for price to retrace back there and then turn around and then you know get a signal around that area. So that's gonna take a few days, and I just don't feel like updating this video or keeping this video running for. Uh, I don't know, many days to come, okay? Uh, it was just a quick video to show you guys how I go about analyzing the uh, long-term charts in order to spot potential areas in the chart where I may get high probability intraday trading opportunities, okay? Uh, blending uh, long-term price action reading and intraday trading, in my experience, is the very best way to uh, you know, sustain a very high win-loss ratio on your intraday trading activity. Okay, so again, no, don't just just because you are an intraday trader doesn't mean that you have to only look into the intraday uh, charts. Uh, guys, do yourself a favor and do read price action on the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes in order to spot these ideal areas in your chart where to search for, indeed, search for your intraday trading opportunities and also the direction of those intraday trading opportunities, okay? Anyway, folks, that's all for this video. Cheers. Bye-bye.